It caused a mess, but there is a happy ending. Let's get right to CBS 2's Lauren Victory, live at the scene. Lauren. That's right, Erica. Everybody is okay. The focus now is getting this plane off of Lakeshore Drive. We're told they might be removing those wings to do so. Also, police have to shut down the southbound lanes of Lakeshore Drive. We're told they will be doing that shortly. All of this happening as the pilot said he was just trying to fly from Kenosha to Cleveland when something went terribly wrong. Mayday, mayday, mayday. The pilot stayed calm after his engine power dropped 30%. Proceed direct the uh, airport and uh, you can play in runway 22 left. Negative, sir, unable. Uh, we'll be somewhere down here in the shoreline. The blue and yellow plane then had to make an emergency landing on Lakeshore Drive near 38th. He flew under the 35th Avenue pedestrian bridge into live traffic. No cars were injured, no traffic accidents were uh, happened. It was. He yeah, did a good job. Drivers gawked at the site. Bicyclists and runners stopped their workouts. Well, I can see that it maneuvered itself and went through the grass and then avoided the traffic and the cars and obviously safely stopped right here. So it's amazing. I give him a lot of credit despite the fact that, you know, he's got a lot of inconvenienced motorists. The pilot and his passenger were not hurt, many not hesitating to call this a miracle. If the best thing we have to say today is that we held up traffic, I think it's a wonderful day. Back out here live, you can see some of the cars on the northbound lanes creeping by at this site. Again, they are trying to remove the plane from Lakeshore Drive as soon as possible. Also want to point out that this is not the first time a plane has used Lakeshore Drive as a runway. In 2013, a small aircraft landed on LSD near Jackson. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live, CBS 2 News, Erica. Wow, that is truly incredible. Thank you, Lauren.